This is the greatest running shoe of all time, and it's not what you'd expect. It's not the Vaporfly, it's not the Alphafly, it's not the Adios Pro 3. In fact, it doesn't even include a carbon plate. And sadly, it doesn't exist anymore. Why would a shoe company stop making a shoe? What I would say is the best shoe ever made. Some say it was because it was so good and so versatile that everyone was just buying this one shoe rather than buying a shoe for racing, a shoe for easy runs and a shoe for training. That is just a rumor, but it kind of does make sense. So some of you may have guessed what shoe it is by now, and that is the Nike Pegasus Turbo. So what makes them so good? Obviously this pair, as you can see, has definitely faced a lot of miles. It is very beaten up and I haven't worn this shoe in about two years now because of essentially the durability of it's gone. Uh, there's not really much left in the shoe. I've had to glue this part together just to keep it intact because the only issue of this shoe was in fact that the two sort of foams in the midsole did separate. Other than that, it is practically near perfect. This does have Zoomex Super Foam, Nike's premium super shoe foam, and it does combine with a React in the midsole as well. And traditionally, I don't like Nike React by itself, but for some reason, this combination works really well. You could run fast in the shoe. In fact, weirdly fast in the shoe. Like it doesn't exactly look like you'd be able to pick up the paces, especially in faster track workouts. But honestly, anything I didn't do in spikes, I could comfortably do in this shoe just as well as any other faster or more traditional running flat. It was really responsive and comfortable at slower paces. So you could do your track workouts, you could do your tempos, and you could do your easy runs. And for any marathon runners, you could also do a lot of marathon specific work in the shoe and really just log in the miles as it's comfortable and it's versatile. Most shoes now either feel really good at faster paces or really nice at slower paces. For example, the Vaporfly feels great at those faster paces and the Nike Invincible, for example, feels really good at those slower paces. Whereas this shoe just felt great at every single pace. If you haven't tried the shoe, I would actually be thankful because you won't spend every single run mourning the loss of this shoe and the fact it doesn't get made anymore. People may say there is the Nike Turbo Next% percent out. What is the difference? I really got drawn into the hype of the new Nike Turbo hoping it was gonna be the same as its predecessors. In all honesty, it's kind of an imposter because it doesn't feel the same at all in any regard. It is still a good shoe and I think better than a lot of people would say it is but compared to this, it shouldn't even be associated. Then the fact that their names are the same is a bit of a disgrace to the to how good this shoe is. With no signs of the Nike Pegasus coming back for whatever reason that may be, what are some shoes that you could kind of replicate the feeling of this with, or at least get some of the good bits out of a shoe? And the fact that we're talking about this five years later from the original release of the Nike Pegasus Turbo, to a certain extent, they're still not sure what competes with it, kind of, is a true testament to how good this shoe actually was. Firstly, the ASICS Super Blast is one shoe which has a lot of the similar qualities. It features ASICS' Super Foam without a carbon plate. This does feel great at paces from easy running all the way up to like threshold work, but anything faster than that, it doesn't quite get into the same realm as the Nike Pegasus Turbo in terms of how it feels at faster paces. So that is probably the best shoe on the market if you're looking for an exact replica, or at least the shoe does pretty much the same thing or almost the same thing. As mentioned, it doesn't quite go as fast or feels as nice at faster paces. The next one is the Saucony Endorphin Speed 1, 2 or 3. They're all pretty similar. They also can handle faster paces like the Nike Pegasus Turbo. But even though the Saucony Endorphin Speed is also one of the best shoes ever made, it doesn't quite feel the same as the Nike Pegasus Turbo. But probably if you're looking for a shoe what can do it all, it's the Saucony Endorphin Speed. Finally, quite a controversial one for a lot of people, but the Nike Streak Fly is essentially the Nike Pegasus Turbo without the qualities of the easier paced and longer paced stuff. So all the track workouts, the tempos, the thresholds, the Streak Fly does feel remarkably similar. It just doesn't have the same comfort and cushion for those longer paces. And I think it is a criminally underrated shoe and especially for track workouts, the Streak Fly might actually be the best shoe on the market. So if you did want the faster qualities of the shoe and then you also have a shoe what can supplement the easier and tempo miles, then the Streak Fly is actually a very good option. Especially in this current market of running shoes, it is quite a cheaper option compared to the other shoes out there as well. So the Nike Pegasus Turbo is what I think the greatest shoe ever is. Comment down below what you think the best shoe ever is. And if you don't say this, you either haven't tried it or I don't really value your opinion because it has to be wrong.